vaccines that are being developed, and we are determining how to implement the vaccinations when they are available. Thank you. Um, there is a considerable number of people attempting to reach South Africa, most trying to reach it overland. It has been reported that one carrier could change the situation in South Africa, particularly in a community that is largely housed created CP center of Johannesburg. It could be an ideal breeding ground for a communicable provider such as Ebola. In addition, they often advantage driving the country through the forest border at Bait Bridge in the Orb and push for no measures such as temperature readers in place to check visitors who could be carriers. However, it has been stated that although the size, it cannot be done at the expense of fueling xenophobia because it has been felt that um, South Africa is far away from most islands and if they were carried of the disease, the chances are that they could not make it to the border. Take your to be concerned. We are living in an age of advanced technology and medical advancement. It is ever maybe the most modern and developed age of the history of the world. So I think that there is millennial when we see the world people are free. Societies, um, to respond to the global crisis, the Red Cross is contributing money to the efforts. Um, we are coordinating efforts to distribute medical and daily living resources as needed by dispatching and placing 4,203 volunteers in 14 countries affected by the crisis. We are informing and educating more than 39 million people about the facts regarding the Ebola crisis. The Red Cross Dead Body Management Team has realized the burial of 97% of the affected bodies in Guinea, and the Red Cross is training professional and volunteer staff in proper protocol for treating Ebola or suspected Ebola cases. The World Bank Bank's posture confronting the Ebola problem depends entirely on the economical weight of the required needs. The answer from the World Bank Group in face of this global crisis consists in help to contain the spread of the infection, provide assistance to the countries to reduce the economical impact of the crisis, and improve the public health systems along West Africa. Thank you. Constitute an active portion of the essential services cluster. Especially in this current crisis, it is imperative for the good of the victims that the basic necessities of life be provided. The World Food Program, abbreviated WFP, is primarily concerned with the prevention of an arising food crisis or provision shortage caused by this recent epidemic. The already poor condition of those in affected areas is exacerbated by numerous factors, including the abandonment of crops and livestock by farmers in attempts to escape the virus, as well as understandable travel restrictions and displacements. This upset of supply and trade routes makes food more expensive and more difficult to acquire. Also, many traditional food sources, particularly local wildlife, are potential carriers of the Ebola virus. Also, uh, another instigating factor in the shortage is the depletion of households by the virus, due to which many families have lost their primary income providers. In response to these issues, the WFP has launched a regional emergency operation with the goal of providing food and supply-based assistance for the millions of people, the millions of, people. Yeah. of Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. Yeah, yeah. Food, as well as emergency medical supplies, are distributed under quarantine by people under treatment and their relatives. All of these projects are done in conjunction with national governments and the World Health Organization. In response to the unpredictable and long-lasting nature of the crisis, the World Food Program will continue to direct its personnel and resources to the assistance and provision of those in the infected countries throughout the duration of the epidemic. <laughs>